in particular, that was a rough trip mm -hmm. back in 2000. Um, a lot of wild meat, crocodile, etc., etc. Yeah. And strangely enough, I mean, I've eaten wild meat in Trinidad. Yeah. Because you get a lot of curry, um, curry different somethings. wild meat. Yeah. Curry somethings, you're not um, sure what it is. But that one was a hard one to take yeah. in South, South Africa from crocodile right mm. back through to a number of other things, ostrich, etc. Ostrich. Mm -hmm. In Brazil, strangely enough, I don't like palm oil. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, the taste of palm oil is very strong. Mm -hmm. And I remember the old Lord trying to go through this two, three days and everything full of this palm oil and basically not eating. And they had a lunch, an official luncheon. And we went on the veranda. And when we went, there was something wrapped in banana leaf. He mm -hmm. said, oh, at last, thinking it was a conky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nicholas Branco was with me at that time, right. that trip. Nicholas and I both started to bite this thing up. Both of us at the same time got back. <laughs> because I it know, was... I don't know what it was. But to begin with, it wasn't sweet. Uh -huh. It did have erasers and it did taste good. <laughs> <laughs> so... That was the end of that for you. That was the end of that. The, end of that. <laughs> the only thing that ended up tasting good on that trip was they had something like dark sugar cake. Uh -huh. So that was good. That was, oh, okay, but well, that's very, good. I find the older you get, actually, the less you like highly, highly seasoned food. Mm -hmm. So yeah. even though I may use a fair amount of spices, mm -hmm. um, I try not to mix up food too much mm -hmm. because the truth is, you really gotta respect your body. Right. Yeah, that's true. Right. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. That daughter Spider yeah. Man, he told us that actually. You really Everything have to in moderation. Yeah. That's what he was preaching. You know, I've changed a lot of how I eat. Mm -hmm. um, when I was Minister of Education, we tried to serve more ground provisions mm -hmm. in the schools. Right. The children in the country would eat it, right. and the ones in town wanted pie. Like they didn't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth is, macaroni pie, as good as it tastes, is a walking heart attack. Yeah, it yeah? is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, it is. Uh, clog up your arteries. Yeah, it wow. does. Yeah. You know, so people don't Andrew realize. Andrew Bogle wouldn't say that, though. That's true. <laughs> but it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes but good, But everything yeah. in moderation. That's right. You don't have to eat it every day or every week. That's right. Um, but ground provisions mm -hmm. really are the best thing for you. And but I mean, you can eat ground provisions every day, and that's fine, right? Mm -hmm. And I've found that over the last, since August last year, I've tried to change up the way I eat. How so have you changed your diet? Like, what have you taken in the, out? And... In the morning, mm -hmm. I use a protein shake. Mm -hmm. I try not to use flour, and if I protein use shake flour. Alone? Protein shake alone. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if I use flour, I use cassava flour mm -hmm. as much as possible and not wheat flour. Right. Okay. Because um, I will still eat a fried pork chop. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and cassava uh, flour, so maybe we could use hair. That's right. right. That's right. Mm -hmm. I just want half of this one. Sure. Yeah. sure. Um, but basically, yeah, I mean, I have a, some good people mm -hmm. in my constituency who make cassava flour. Mm -hmm. So right. that makes it easy. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Easy access to That's it. right. Mm -hmm. And similarly, um, so at lunch I try to use either vegetables or maybe sometimes a little ground mm. provisions or mm. milk cuckoo, mm -hmm. believe it or oh, not. Oh, milk cuckoo, yeah. Still yeah. lost weight using it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not a lot, maybe a scoop of mm -hmm. milk cuckoo. Mm -hmm. A lot more vegetables mm -hmm. and either fish, chicken, pork, beef, okay. whatever. And How long if have you been? How long have you been on this type of since diet? Since August last year, so okay. that's about eight, nine months. Nice. Okay, very good. You know, um, and at night, if I really want to go flat out, I might have a protein shake again, or yeah. I might have soup, or I might just have some protein, small piece of protein right. and salad. And, mm -hmm. you still find and if I'm in the like constituency, I would eat a fried pork chop or a fried <laughs> chicken egg, but no chips, no that's how you, that's how you keep no it bread. Here. None of them right. things, you know. But no. you find that eating like that is still, is still interesting? No difference. Yeah. difference. Yeah. Okay. I think we're ready for this. Sure. We're talking and forgetting the food. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, you all got to tell I know. I can't cook. You got some sizzling. Yeah. That's good. There's some sizzling there. Yeah. You know? Ah, nice. Mm. Water. Water. The chicken retaining some water from the yeah. food. Yeah. From the pan there. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So you have to see John if this food can be sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure it can because I, I know I know Mia, you also do put in the sauce as well too on a Saturday. Yeah, except I don't make the pudding in the sauce. You don't make the pudding in the sauce, get rid of that. Then. Sure, sure. The truth is that um I enjoy cooking can be relaxing, especially without good people around yeah. me You're just taking your time. Yeah. Um but you know, it's it's how and what we eat. Right. And the older you get, as I said, the more you realize how important it is. Right. Yeah, that's so, true. Very, very true. We'll very see. true. But um, so you enjoy doing know. this show? Yeah, I enjoy doing this show. I um, I first started off doing economics, which is uh, well, still economics, but chicken so and eggs. Yeah. Be backing you, that's but right. 
right now I think you want to eat rather than That's me fine. walking <laughs> We do this with the Salvation Army, so make sure it comes out right. Yeah. Well, what is why I enjoy it is because it gives me a chance to show the public and educate them about cooking techniques and yeah. different mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I've come with a lot of different egg dishes, which I just, yeah. I, I never even knew you could do so many egg dishes. I just, <laughs> yeah. I just think about it and it came yeah. up. I actually like eggs. I mean, I've learned now when I do travel and I do eat eggs, I can eat eggs now and bacon or eggs and sausage without bread. Yeah, yeah that's you true. Know, 20 years ago, I wanted bread with everything. Toast, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. But that's how yeah, people are conditioned. That's it's like right. breakfast is toast, breakfast is right. eggs, and so on. But you don't need the bread. That's right. No, that's looking good. Yeah, just gonna let it brown. All right, so that's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna take about another two, three minutes. Okay. You want me to toast? I see you, you want me to toast some almonds yeah, for you? Toast, that's for the very end. That's mm -hmm. to help garnish it. Okay. But also for flavor, because when you have the almonds and the coriander or cilantro, whatever right. you call it. Let me take this water over here. Yeah, this way here. Sure. So we can just toast it and get that and put that one side. You're going to have to remind me about the almonds down here because no, no, I tend no, no, to I forget things like these. they can get burnt. I had a, Trust I, me. I, I once had a bag of these uh -huh. and I toast the first set, it burnt. I eventually burnt the whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it has happened to me at home. Trust me. Can you forget about it? Because I normally it. put it under broiler or something, and if yeah. you don't move and check it quickly, yeah. you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, oven is right there. You're going to put that for me in sure. the oven? Yes, okay. I will. Sure. Okay, so while that chicken continues to get going, we are going to take a quick commercial break and be back after this. I find the prices are great. I get what I want. The prices are great. Right. It's excellent and the staff are great. We encourage everybody to shop at Save Lot. Save Lot is a good place to shop. It's convenient for me. You do actually save a lot. I like shopping here. I encourage anybody to keep shopping at Save a Lot. Why save a little if you can save a lot? You come to Save a Lot where you have great prices and you'll really, really save a lot. Welcome back to Economic Celebrities, guys. I'm your host, Charlene. I, this is Chef Don Hazard. And this person that's back with me right now at the stove is none other than Mia Motley, okay. who is doing some Moroccan chicken for us. Let's go over to the stove here and see what's going on. Well, I'm going to take out some of the chicken. Uh -huh. okay. I'll let it rest and then start to prepare the onions or shallots. Right. Okay. If you can get shallots, you can use that if not onions. Right. All right. You like to use a lot of fresh herbs when you're yes. cooking? Yes, I do. <laughs> and you were saying that you do plant some on your own? That's right. I plant basil, I plant coriander. Yeah? I have scotch bonnet peppers, seasoning peppers. And um, I try my hand with a little pumpkin now. So okay. I <laughs> so we could come I, by and get some fresh herbs from you so we can use in John's restaurant then. I don't know if I can supply all the junk, I do real business. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just cut this chicken because okay. it really is a little too big without cutting the bottom of the pan. Yeah. Just open it out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, John, where are you going to get started with this? I don't well, like to see white wings, so you go for the I am going to get them nice and brown. I'm going to cook some, I'm going to do some uh, stir fry rice with egg. Remember, yeah. everything is with eggs and chicken. Right. So that's going to go along with the chicken dish. Mm -hmm. If you can pass this up, bowl there empty. Just want to wash my no rice problem. first. I'll just take oh, well, give me another one over here, sure. That's all my grandmother used to wash it. So you got to wash the rice to yeah. wash out the starch. <laughs> yeah, I let it wash the starch to keep it separate. And um, but I, I don't, I don't, uh, me, I, I don't, I, 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 don't, I, don't do that I don't do this, me, I don't do this. Well, we had, I, I don't, I don't pick rice. <laughs> we had to pick rice when yeah. we were small. Yeah, I remember you know that. that. You don't pick rice. You don't pick rice, no. When I with my grandmother, she still makes. That's right. Uh, wash this up. So the onions. These onions now. Yeah. yeah. And let them start to get a little golden before yeah. we put in these spices. Okay. So it's like a little bit. That's right. Okay. Put it down. Looking good. <laughs> smelling good. It's yeah. smelling good too, yeah. There's nothing like onions there. <laughs> yeah, onions nothing like onions. And fresh pepper. Yeah, nothing like onions. John, you ever thought that you would be cooking it in the kitchen with me? I never thought so. I, I, am, I think I'm still in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> you make people believe that I don't cook. No? It's me who well, never thought know. I would be cooking with you. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's looking good. That's the cumin going inside there now. So oh, this 
ginger. Or the ginger. Oh, it, gets, it smells nice and strong. How much is that? Your Sometimes they use fresh ginger mm -hmm. and um, to uh, and grate it, mm -hmm. or you can use the ginger. But I prefer the fresh ginger actually. Okay. okay. But since we're cooking fast for people on TV, we right. can use a little. <laughs> <laughs> You're um, not nervous cooking on TV in front of all these people? Not really. It's them who are nervous. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> you all nervous? <laughs> uh, we got everything happening here today, yeah, guys. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun here in the kitchen. So what is it putting in now? A little cumin. A little How much of that are we putting in there? Uh, about a teaspoon and a half. Okay. Okay. Not too heavy on any of the spices. Okay. So the combination of these spices, as you said, is what makes this happen. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now there should be some lime juice somewhere. Right here. Some, some, some more lime juice at the end too. Lime juice here, yeah. Want three sticks of cinnamon. Oh, very nice. And you're gonna nice. start oh, smelling them too. Mm -hmm. Just hold, just like that. Yeah. And we're gonna put the lime juice in. Yeah. I need some more lime juice though. Okay, get some more lime juice for you. We can go to break when I cut some lime. They want to see me squeezing lime. Okay. <laughs> and we just have me and Molly taking us to break our egg and all the people. We'll be back after this. The Roberts family of companies has been providing Barbados with quality food and animal feed since 1944. At Roberts, we take this responsibility seriously, guaranteeing the highest quality of each and every product we manufacture. From cooking oils, margarines, and shortening produced by Roberts Manufacturing, and livestock and poultry feed from Pinnacle Feeds, to premium domestic pet food from Vitamin Pet Foods, Roberts family of companies 